two free tools to schedule your social media. The tools that I recommend for free scheduling on social media is a Buffer found at BufferApp.com and Hootsuite found at Hootsuite.com. So we're going to talk about Hootsuite first. The benefits of Hootsuite, the free version, is you can connect up to five social profiles. It supports Facebook, the profile and the fan page, Google Plus, and Twitter. And more are available via Hootsuite apps. Some are free, some are paid. You can post to most or to multiple social media platforms at one time, and you can schedule posts ahead of time. There's also an auto scheduling option where Hootsuite will choose the times that your posts go when when they actually get published. Uh, their browser extension is available to share directly um, from your browser from the article that you want to share. And the Hootsuite app lets you view your social media feeds easily without the time suck that can happen on Facebook especially or you know some of the other platforms. Um, you can see the image in the upper right corner where this is like a Facebook profile example and you can see the wall posts are here, the news feed is here, and you know there's like a videos feed and this makes it pretty linear and straightforward when you're looking at your posts it helps you from really getting distracted by like oh what's that little image over to the left and maybe I need to go there um, also if you use the Hootsuite's own link shortener Owly then you'll have, be able to see link stats for the posts you make and the links that you share and how many times people click on them and follow the link so here's an image that shows you how sharing with Hootsuite works. The Hootsuite browser icon is in the upper right in the pink box. So when you're on an article that you want to save, like this one, you just click the link and this box po pops up. Now in the upper left here you can see these are the social networks and you can choose which ones you want to post to. You pick the drop down and just select which one. So here I have Twitter selected, Google Plus, and the Facebook fan page. So when this posts, it's gonna go to all three of those. Now when it comes up here, you can add or change the text in the box before it posts. So you could add some hashtags if you wanted. Um, if you have the Owly link shortener, shortener turned off, your full URL will show. So it's up to you which way you wanna do that. The, if it's a platform that will have an image, such as Google Plus or Facebook fan pages, it'll show which image is going to post. And as it says here, um, Google Plus pages do not support hiding thumbnails. Now mine is actually connected to a Google Plus page, like a business page, not just the Google Plus profile. So depending which one you're using, you may or may not be able to choose which thumbnail, but you definitely can for like a Facebook fan page. On the, in kind of the middle where you see the 30, the date icon, that's where you can click to schedule it into the future. So if you want it said, I know I want this article to go next week, you could click that icon and choose a date and time for next week when it's going to post. Um, otherwise, you can auto schedule it and you see down below that orange button is auto schedule or I could just send it right now. So you got a couple different options here. Let's talk about Buffer next. The benefits of Buffer, the free version, are you can connect one account for each of the social media platforms supported and in the upper right you can see um, an image of the different platforms that are supported, Twitter, Facebook, on Facebook you could connect either a profile or a page or I guess group, um, LinkedIn, profile, group page, app.net or Google Plus and you can connect a page or a profile. But just in the free version just one of each type is allowed. You can also post to multiple social media platforms at one time just like we were able to with Hootsuite. And you can set a schedule of when you want your buffer articles to post so you could say on my Facebook fan page, I wanted to post at 9, 12, 3, and 6. And then as you fill up your buffer, it's going to post though for your Facebook fan page. It's going to post at those times that you've already pre-selected. 
So different than Hootsuite, where Hootsuite can do the um, auto scheduling for you, you're not going to have that with Buffer. Um, there's also a browser extension to share directly from the article that you want to share. And the URL shortening can be turned on or off. And if it's on, it will track clicks on your links. So sharing with Buffer, there's an icon in the upper right, just like there is with Hootsuite on your browser. And it is the three pages icon you can see there. And just it, this is a very similar interface um, to Hootsuite. So you can see the profiles in the upper left of the window that pops up. And you can just click on them to select or deselect. And, and at the point where you get here, you'll have needed to already set up your Buffer account and choose times and connect to your social media profiles. It's also going to give you a preview of what's posting. Uh, I actually haven't played on here with changing the image that posts, but you can see it clearly knows there's one of five images. So it should support that, but it's going to have the same limitations Hootsuite did. If you're posting to, you know, a Google Plus page and it doesn't support you auto choosing the image, you're not going to be able to do that here either. So um, it's going to use a bit.ly link shortener um, if you have that set up. Otherwise, the link icon in the bottom left between the clock and the camera, you can click that and it'll expand out your link right um, in this window, which is different than what Hootsuite allows. So you can have it post the full URL. And it'll give you the preview to show you what it's going to look like. Just the other one is, and you can add hashtags as well right in here. So these are the two free apps I would recommend for scheduling your social media ahead of time.